Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Today I am going to be teaching you about loot filters in Path of Exile. Loot filters are something that almost everybody uses, though almost no one knows how to create themselves. So I'm going to be going through the whole process, explaining things like file management. We'll spend a lot of time looking at a notepad and how to make changes in it to get things to change in games. We'll go through the wiki and all of the information that is in here about how to make loot filters, what everything in here means and does. And I'll go through Filter Blade and show you how to create a filter for yourself with Filter Blade if you don't actually want to make one yourself and you need a loot filter. So for most players, making a, your own loot filter is something that you're not going to want to do. The general recommendation is that you use NeverSync's loot filter. So to do that, you go to filterblade.xyz. That is the website that NeverSync has created. You can even sign in through PoE. You can save loot filters through the website. You can customize things in all of the detail that I will show you through editing the text file. But you can do all of these things here. You have different base types for different things. You can customize the background colors and every little bit of it all the same you can do in this website. So let's say you're starting from scratch. You have no idea what you're doing. You come to Filter Blade. You can go to my filters. You can log in with PoE. You do not have to. I'm going to click create new filter. So then what do you want to base your filter on? There's never sync soft core, never sync hardcore, never sync stable and never sync ruthless. So ruthless is its whole own thing. So I'm going to take never sync soft core. Tiering is based on current soft core economy updated every four hours. So there's constant updates to this filter and you can constantly come in here and update it through here. But I just want the basic thing. Now there's different strictnesses of the filters. Soft, regular, semi-strict, strict, very strict, uber strict, uber plus strict. So you can use different filters that will keep all of the same theming and you can change to a different filter if you're seeing too many things or seeing too less things but that is where it starts to draw these lines where you might want to create your own filter because you don't like how some things are shown here but not on this filter uh, you want to change some specific things it's for those of you with uh, more game knowledge and a desire to really put your finger on what you want to see in the game so for a new player though you pretty much just want to come in here. You want to click Never Sync Soft Core. You want to click Customize if you want. You can change anything and everything in the filter. But that's all you really need to do. Come here, click this, click Never Sync Soft Core, save and export. I'm not logged in. Continue without saving. Sure. And then I'm going to get all strictnesses. I can download it as a zip file or individual files. And I'm going to download them all. And there we go. I get all of the filter blade filters. So just to walk through it one more time, my filters, create new filter, come here, never sync soft core, save and export, continue without saving, unless you, if you, you can actually like save the filter to your PoE profile and then download all of the filters. Here we go. This time it's actually giving me all of them, all the different strictnesses. I don't know why I didn't last time. There we go. So now file management stuff in my download filter, I just got all of these filter blade filters, soft, regular, Semi strict, strict, very strict, uber strict, uber plus strict. Now these are all filter files. Now these need to go in a specific place on your computer. So if you, I'm gonna copy all these real quick. So if you go to your my documents on your computer, you normally have my games, and then there's a path of exile folder. And here, just in the top of this, is where you put all your loot filter stuff. And this is where I have all of my loot filters and sound files and stuff. I will get into later, but. We'll just move all of those filter files over here. And there we go. Now they're in here. Then in Path of Exile, go in here, game, look for loot filters. And let's find filter blade. Yep. Start like we can do soft. And then there's all the different strictnesses in here. And I have the filters in game. Save. I have that one. I'll put a map in here and see how it looks. Now, if you're familiar with my videos, this is going to look very different than how my loot filter 
looks. So we got some items on the ground here. Decent bases. Oh, there's a white heavy belt. It's showing me Zodiac leather. Press the alt key and see all the other items that are dropping on the ground. Oh, there are some rare items in this yellowy color. Oh, there's sounds. Where are those sounds? What is this? A divination card, Emperor's Luck. It's got this blue with red text on it. Sure, I'll pick that up. An enkindling orb. Oh, that's cool. Six socket item. I can take this and I can sell it to a vendor. Or six jeweler's orbs. Cool. Me in this delirium. It's gonna give me some rings and currency. Fossilized delirium orb jewel some rings two orbs of regret we'll just leave this basic stuff here so now i'm going to switch this back to my loot filter let's see 322 map filter four boom okay that switches it to mine so like i have a lot of specialized coloring and things and to me like i've used my own filter for so long that it's hard to look at another filter i can't tell what is what i don't know what these things are what they're doing what not i know how my things look and part of the process of me updating my whole loot filter i'll go through it all so i can explain what all the coloring and stuff means in my own filter but the big thing i'm going to be trying to explain here is how you can go from this filter and make it your own right you can you can definitely open up the text file for the filter blade thing you can edit it all in there or you can use the website on Filter Blade. You can come in here and customize it. And every single little thing, you want to change the color of something, you can do that in here. The currency, right? But there's so many like menus and things in here. It's all, if I want to come in here and then I have to like manually specify the colors and stuff that I want. It's easier for me to just pull this up and I want my currency drops to be a different color. I change the text color, change the border color, I can change the font size. It's all here. I don't have to go flipping through menus or anything to try and make changes to it. So it's mainly that reason alone that I continue to just like update and use my own filter that I've created. Okay, so now that I've shown you how to create and get a never sync filter into Path of Exile, how do you go about creating your own? So we're gonna start from absolute scratch here. I'm going to open a new text file in, I'm using Notepad++. There's all kinds of text editors out there. You don't have to use this. I like my color scheming I have here. It's what I've been using for my loot filters. But anyways, so then I need to save this as a loot filter file. So we're gonna save as, it's. I'm already in the Path of Exile. Now I don't want a normal text file. If I just save this right now, it's going to be a normal text file. So if I type loot filter and I just hit enter, it's gonna make a .txt file. If I name this loot filter .filter and hit enter, it's going to make a loot filter .filter .txt file. So if you want to save it as a filter file, which is followed by the .filter here, you have to click save as type here, scroll up to all types, and then it will treat the dot .filter at the end of this loot filter .filter text I put in here as a filter. And you can see all my other dot .filter files in here. So now I can save my loot filter dot filter into the folder and it's there. So now this filter has nothing on it, but it should be in here in Path of Exile. Yep, there it is. Loot filter dot filter. I don't filter loaded successfully, right? Now I go back into this map and it shows me everything on the ground with their basic colorings and whatnot. Even if I were to drop the stuff I picked up, oh, that's a six socket. So from the basic loot filter, that's just a white item. It doesn't matter that it's six socketed. Like the loot filters can do things like that to amplify what you see. So there's some rare items, two regret orbs, the jewel, a uh, fossilized delirium orb, the div card kindling orb like these things don't stand out quite as much because loot filter you can dial it in to highlight certain things more which with the never sync filter there were sound effects playing and there's mini map icons for things the basic filter in the game does not give you any of that so we'll start with this um no well you know we'll start with currency Okay, we need to make these two regret orbs show up differently. Something nice and simple. Just so we can kind of like have something on paper. We can see what we're manipulating here. So I'm not an expert on coding myself. I don't have a background in coding. This is really like my first coding adventure ever was making Path of Exile loot filter. So there's really 
two different things that you would start every line with. You can start it with show or you can start it with hide if you want it to hide this item. So I'm going to click show here and then on a new line, I'm going to tab in just because it looks cleaner. I don't think that tab needs to be there, but I can know that everything grouped here is with the show. And I want to show a base type and then in parentheses, I'm going to put orb of regret. And then I want to set text color to what blue you can't just type in a color here you need an rgb value so if i wanted this regret orb to be blue rgb b is blue uh, so i can kind of if i want zero zero 255 is the like it's a zero to 255 r g b for colors this will give me zero red zero green 255 blue and let's do set text size 42 so it'll make it bigger it'll make it blue we're gonna save it back to path of exile reload the filter oh i messed up it is not set text size it is set plot size try that again and the only way to really debug this filter is by doing this reload it in path of exile and there we go loot filter loaded successfully so now i'll drop the regret orbs and the text is a bright blue. The text got bigger than the other things. It did what it was set to do. Now that, that color is kind of ugly. It doesn't really jump out at me there. So not the greatest, probably not exactly what you would want there. So so let's change it up a bit. Uh, we don't want this to be all 255. Let's do like 100 in green and make this 200 in blue. Save it. Go back in here reload it and see how it changes okay that's a that's a softer blue something that you can read a little bit better than the full 255 blue but that is what you can do you have that much control over each individual item and all i'm doing is changing the orbs of regret there i'm not doing any other type of currency this is the only specific thing that i've changed in my loot filter now there's some really cool tools that you can use with the loot filter to combine a lot of things together. So if I come here to the item filter guide and the PoE wiki in here, I mean, it goes through all the basics, like this is a section and this is a line in your code and it all kind of follows the same thing. Show everything is tabbed in here, right? Some, some example things like I just did, uh, there's alerts, there's all kinds of like mini Mac icons, beams of light. Um, we're not getting anything crazy values or anything yet, but here are the, all of the different conditions that we can use to narrow down what that item drop actually is. So there's things like area level. This can be zero to 100 and it specifies a particular monster level of the current area. There's item level, the level of the item, uh, the drop level, the level the item starts dropping at. You can search for the amount of quality on items, the rarity, normal, magic, rare, or unique. But then there is class, full or partial item class name. And there is a list further down below. Uh, go down here, list of item classes. These are all the different item classes. Uh, there's gloves, incursion items, one hand axes, quest items, delve stackable, socketable currency. That's the class for resonators. But what in here is for currency there should be one yep there it is stackable currency and that, that is a currency item so now if i go back to my loot filter and let's say i don't want to just make my over regret stand out i want all of my currency to stand out so instead of specifying the base type item of the over regret we're going to switch to class and stackable currency now there is whether or not I put this in quotes. If I put it in quotes, it will only be stackable currency. If I don't put it in quotes, if there is another class with the word stackable in it or the word currency in it, it will get grouped into this class. Example being delve stackable socketable currency. So if I don't want this to show up, I have to put stackable currency in quotes or else resonators are going to get lumped into this. And I'll even show that off. So I'm just going to go class stackable currency. I want it to be this big size and I want it to be the color we just specified. Now we've changed it up in here. Reload it. Boom. Now I can drop in a kindling orb. It'll show up like that. The fossilized delirium orb, the orb of regrets. Now those are all with the same parameters that we set for the color. And that's for every single stackable currency item. Not a divination card. A divination card is not stackable currency. What those scrolls are? Wisdom scrolls are, but resonators are not stackable currency. But 
I drop it. It looks like a currency item to me. But back here, we're going to change this. So I'm going to put this in quotes. So it's only grabbing stackable currency. Save it again. Back to game. Reload. Drop the resonators now. But all my currency shows up. So use of quotation marks is very important. I'm sure that's a big thing with coding in general, right? But that right there shows you how things can get lost in your filter if you're not uh, approaching all the details quite correctly, right? And a real example of what those quotation marks can do. But these classes are very valuable so we can group lots of things together i can put all my divination cards in one spot let's do that i have a divination card let's set up another line of the loot filter for divination cards okay so we've got that let's do a show class class divination cards let's decorate this a little bit let's see div cards are these gray things and they've got black text on them or a name this is exactly the process I went through to make my loot filter. So let's see. I want the div card not to be this bright blue color when it drops. I want it to stand out and look like a divination card. So let's do some things here. Let's decorate. So divination card, we want to set text color to some kind of gray. So if I wanted, I could take a screenshot of this even. Grab that, go into paint even. We can screenshots. Here we go. Open with paint sure there that is so then i want to pick a color and grab the color picker here let's pick a gray from this div card that might have been a little bit too dark maybe get something get a little brighter pixel off of this there that that's a gray color now i can open this up and i see it is 109 red 101 green 90 blue so come in here the text color oh we're at text color we probably want that to be more black so let's let's go a little darker 43 We'll just do 40, 40, 40 for the text color. Then let's do set background color and make this more like the back of the div card, which was somewhere up in here. Sure. 120, 110, 100. And then let's do set font size. You can range font size from, I think, 18 to 45. This is the largest you can do. So I want this to be fairly large. We'll do like a 36. Save that. Now we've got a text color for it. We've got a background color for it. And let's even give it a mini map icon. Mini map icon. There's three values. Zero, one, or two. Zero is largest. One is medium. Two is small. So we'll go small map icon that is Red, green, blue, brown, white, yellow, cyan, gray, orange, pink, or purple. This is all right here on the wiki for minimap icon. Size, color, shape, size, colors, and then shapes, right? Oh, I want to go with white. That kind of looks like what I'm going for here. So we'll go two. I want white, and I want square. So I've got a white square for the div card. Save it. Back into the game. Reload. Loot filter failed. Reason, unknown rule type, minimap icon. What did I do? What I did was I capitalized this M. That is making a loot filter right there. So this is supposed to be a lowercase M. Save. Back in the game. Reload. Loot filter loaded successfully. That little detail matters. But the game will tell you what line it was on, why it failed. There we go. There's a div card. It's got this and a kind of brownish gray background to it with the black text. I could put a border around it. I pull up my mini map. There is a small white square on the ground where that div card is. It goes away when I pick it up. And then I still have my currency showing up. But then let's think about this. I don't want to see wisdom scrolls. So let's try and hide something. I'll pull this back up. Now this is relating to currency. You normally would probably want to group your loot filter into sections like this would be a section for currency and whatnot and which makes sense for sure because there's a lot of items in path of exile just for bulk item exchange these are currency items there's exotic currencies ancestor currencies sanctum and unique relics shards and splinters fragments and sets, memory lines, scouting reports, expedition currency, delirium orbs, catalysts, oils and extractors, incubators, scarabs. Like there are so many different things, right? All these different div cards that can potentially drop. There's all the different types of maps, all their different tiers. There's a lot of items, right? So you kind of have to be careful with how you're structuring it as a whole, which we can get into more when I'm going through mine. See, like here is my whole currency section. 
I have things broken out or a rarity of different things. So they show up at different sizes, have different minimap icons, different effects. And then the next tiering of currency, the next tiering of currency, I can filter this out by stack size. If I don't want to see a stack size of one of any of these currencies, I can hide this and I'll still see them all, but only stack or two or higher. Little things like that you can do, but then there's like, this is my whole currency section. And then like I just showed, it goes on and on. I got maps, I've got like fragments, the Hydra, Phoenix, here's all my scarabs, my ball emblems and splinters, the breach stuff, resonators, catalysts, oils, essences. So it like st winds up stacking up depending on how detailed you want to get with it, of course. So let's hide. Now I can, I can pull the class here if I want. Now I can say class stackable currency, just like I had before. I don't need to here, but I can just to like narrow it down and then do the base type. And then what is the actual wording here? Scroll of wisdom of lower case. So and then we'll do scroll of wisdom. Now I don't want it to see it, but let's say I still want it to have this text color and the font size that it had from before. So I'll put that there. So now scrolls of wisdom should be hidden. So we'll come back in here, reload this, drop the wisdom scrolls on the ground. They still show up. Why do they, why do they still show up? And that is because of the tiering of the loot filter since the scroll of wisdom is already included in the class stackable currency i'm already showing it up here so if i want this to be a catch for all stackable currency if i want to hide a specific currency i have to do it before that so we'll cut this out move it above there try again reload the filter wisdom scrolls are gone portal scrolls still show up and when i press alt to see it the wisdom scrolls are still there same size and color that they were before so basically if something is already shown by something above it you cannot hide it below that thing so that's why it has to be up here especially if you're showing the whole class so now in my loot filter like i'm doing base type for everything i'm specifying which of the currencies are at each tier of my currency and then i'm hiding my wisdom scrolls and things like nets transmutation shards i got a separate line for that but then i have all the way at the bottom a catch-all so show class currency this is to catch any currency that is in my loot filter that hasn't been hidden that makes it to the bottom so that if it's still a currency item, it will drop, okay? And then to this day, let me go back to mine here and show an example of this. And this is partly why my loot filter needs updated. Um, Orb of Conflict, this is a currency item. Eldric Orb of Annulment, that's a currency item. Orb of Conflict, It is. this is an unrecognized currency in my loot filter. And it is getting picked up by that very last line that I just set to make sure any other currency that gets dropped will show itself because I've not gone out of my way to hide any currency other than oral scrolls wisdom scrolls at this point but uh vivid wildlife force that's a currency item eldrick and Ol, that made a different sound so what that means is since this is an eldrick orb of annulment it's getting picked up way at the top with my orb of annulment because even though it's in parentheses it holds this exact string of text orb of annulment so that's getting picked up and that's why it's getting the beam of green light because it's a valuable currency being an orb of annulment. But if I want to specify and get an actual drop for an Eldric orb of annulment, I have to put that separately because it carries over part of the exact same name. So it can be a little bit tricky, especially when it comes to currency, because let me go back to the, the new filter here. So those items I just picked up, Eldric orb of annulment, all this currency, these orbs of conflict, those are all currency items. Let me do this blight real quick. This will give us some more things on the ground here to look at um yeah a few uh there's a flame wall in here but you really can't decipher what any of this is good oh another emperor's luck showed up it stood out a little bit because of my fancy loot filter there's a glass blower's bauble currency item we got a fractured pair of gloves here that doesn't stand out in any other way other than the icon to the side so there's a lot that we still need to do if we want this to be an actual loot filter but the big point of this is i want to know is an oil a stackable currency item they sure are and since i've specified stackable currency items to show up 
they will show up in this way. So we've already made those more visible. Go back to the default loot filter. Um, okay, the default loot filter is really bad. I feel like none works a little better there almost. I mean, they do filter some things out a little bit, so things don't show up as much, but that still renders everything in. Oils are a little more... They stand out a little bit more. And then back to my personal loot filter, all of the oils show up as the color that they are with a color picked from the icon of the amber oil itself. And the glass flowers bobble up there. This pair of fractured gloves shows up with a text that mimics the fractured text color on the item. Uh, I got a gym over here that's quality, couple items. And then when I press alt, I can see all the other items. I have all the magic and white items hidden, but made them all really small. I can see a four linked item here that has red, green, and blue sockets. I have that set up to single out, but every little thing's different. I, I have some reason have the wrong coloring on my rings that are magic. It has the basic magic item color to it. So even my filter is not perfect, but we definitely don't want this. So let's start working backwards a bit. Let's, let's hide all of the normal and magic items in our example loot filter here. So this is a whole different class of items. We're not dealing with stackable currency. We're not dealing with div cards. We can have a whole new section here for items. And if you want to make a comment line, you can use a hashtag in here. This is for items, right? And this line isn't going to have any effect on your filter because it started with the hashtag. So we'll start at the bottom. We want to hide, and I'm not even going to specify anything here. I could do like a, a class to only hide gloves or anything. I just want to hide rarity, normal, set font set font size equal to 18 save that go back here options reload loot filter all of the magic items are gone just like that and then when i press alt to see them all the text shows up way smaller so we've already made a lot of progress to this but in this process i just hid the flame wall so it's catching there so i need to catch for gyms if i want to just hide all normal items because it sees the gym as a normal item. And maybe I still want to see flasks or whatnot. I'd have to put rules for these above that so that the very last thing at the end of the filter is going to hide any other normal item garbage. Now, I'm sure it's not the only case, but it is the case that we saw. So in here, let's do show class, and then I will reference the wiki here or the item classes. And I'm looking for gyms. This is not in any kind of organized structure on the wiki at all now, can i do this aha sort by where's gyms skill gyms i guess skill gyms and support gyms have their own class so we will add them both in one line so i could put class in parentheses put gyms it'll grab them both but if there's any other class in the game that has gyms in it it'll also grab that so i want to grab skill gyms and then i can just put a space and add another class to this or support or gyms. Actually, is there exceptional gyms then? No, there's no special for exceptional gyms. I assume all of that would get caught up in either of support gym or skill gym. Cool. So we've got that. We want that to show, well, like it can keep its color, set font size. You don't need any equals or anything. Set font size to be uh, 32. We'll save that. Double check again. Make sure it comes back. Reload filter. Okay. That flame wall is back. Good. So now let's get rid of the magic items in the same way. Just copy this line here, paste it in here. Instead of normal rarity, we'll change this to magic rarity. And you know what? While we're at it, let's go ahead and make another one of these. Paste that in there, set it to rare. But I want to see some rare items. I'm playing a bow build. So I want to show class... Oh, show class Come back here there should be one for bows class bows perfect show class bows rarity rare set font size to 36 so there we go just made all these changes all of the magic items are going to hide themselves all of the rare items will hide themselves and all of the rare bows will show themselves from this big mess filter is saved reload filter boom hit the z button to well, i guess it actually put the bow out here from the thing but there's the rare bow. We can still see the gym. Everything else is hidden and it's really small. But I know for a fact Crusader Gloves is a T1 armor energy shield base. And that should probably stand out in this particular scenario. But I've at least cleaned up the loot filter from 
the mess that it came as and i'm not seeing this fractured item so th this is your process of troubleshooting and trying to understand like okay i need to hammer this thing out we can do that back to the loot filter in items we want to show and we don't need a tag for it like fractured items can drop rare or magic we don't need anything special there but we do need and again this is on the wiki and there are all of these conditions here stack size gym level gym quality type this is actually going away if it's replica or not is it identified corrupted a number of corrupted mods i didn't know this was a thing i'm going to be adding this into my filter um is the item mirrored elder item shaper item has any other type of influence searing exarch implicit either world's implicit here we go fractured item it has two values true or false if an item is fractured or not so we're going to take this and use it I'll just copy the text here for fractured item so we have set up for show and we want fractured item true and then if I want a font size, I can do that. So it shows up a little bigger. Fractured items are really rare as well. So we can give it a mini map icon, uh, make that medium size, which is one. And I want it to be brown upside down house. See if I did that right. Reload. Oh, brown upside down is not. <laughs> I messed that up. Let's see here. What was the color? Oh, upside down house is all one word. And there's no brown. Oh, there is a brown. There's a brown. Upside down house. Capital is on the D and the H. Upside down house. Like that. Save it. Reload it. There we go. The riveted gloves now show themselves. So it's looking a little bit nicer. Like we can see all fractured items now. Still nothing with flasks or jewelry, anything in particular, but I think I'm covering a lot of the bases here because a lot of these things work the same. We got the fractured item. You know what? I even want a drop sound. I'm going to type in here, drop sound. I think there's 16 different options here. This is all for reference on the wiki. Uh, yeah. Set font size is 18 to 45. Play alert sound, not drop sound. Okay. And then there's an ID, which is this which is 1 to 16, which is the different in-game sounds that there are, and volume, 0 to 300, it looks like. So let's mess around with that. Play alert sound. Let's play alert sound 1 and make it 100 volume. Save into the game, reload. And that drop sound is the drop sound of 1 at 100 volume. So that could be made way louder. That's one of the default sounds included in the game. I have custom alert sounds for my own loot filter. I'll get into that when I get there. So maybe I don't want that sound to play for there. I can just, well, let's change this to two. I'm gonna move this to my other monitor so I can do this real quick. Save, load. That's a deeper sound. Okay, let's try three. Save, reload. It's more of a pingy sound. Still is not speaking to me fractured gloves, though. Sound number four. Seems like a big item drop. Sound, kind of cool. Five is a bigger sound. About six. It has a more pingy sound that feels like a big drop. Probably more applicable to a, a fractured item, I would say. You know what, let's go with six. The volume seemed okay. I mean, we can test it. What's what? What does 200 do for a volume here? That's a bit louder. Back to 100. 200. And then it goes to 300. We gotta know. I'm warning you. We're going to 300. We're sending it. Okay, that's much louder. So there's a lot of play with that in the loot filter itself. Like, there's a item filter alert volume that you can adjust which i have pretty set where it is based on the sounds in my custom loot filter so i'm gonna drop that back to 100 so nothing's crazy reload filter good well, let me let me drop these oils back down here we still haven't figured out anything for the six socket item that would be in the bottom of this mess so that's maybe something that we need to do yeah let's do that so 
still down here in items we need to know when an item drops if it has six sockets on it so we want to show this item in this filter we don't have any specific coloring for rare magic items so i can keep them together so let's go back to the wiki and to figure out how we would go about here determining the number of sockets so here we go we've got sockets number of sockets zero to six followed by r g b d a w those are for red sockets green sockets blue sockets delve sockets abyss sockets white sockets oh it even spells it out for you in the one above so this is the thing that we need we need a socket group i think number of length sockets okay maybe not we need just sockets number of sockets so sockets six save drop it reload filter there we go now it's still getting that sound icon it's not coming from this but i can make that bigger if i wanted i could give it a border we haven't done a border color yet let's do a set border color i'm gonna take my like shiny border from my own filter here for the sake of time so that's in there open this reload it and there we go got a nice shiny border on it so that's another good thing uh, what about red, green, blue links? This is another really useful thing for loot filters to show you if an item has this link accommodation to vendor for a chromatic orb. So there's lots of stuff that we can do for this. So we need to know link sockets, numeric number of links, zero through six, the size of the largest group of links that the item has. Oh, there's a space for an operator here. So operators are these items equal, not equal, less than, less than, or equal, greater than, greater than, or equal, or exact match. So this sockets, I could put equal six there. It's not going to change anything, but it, it asked for an operator and I did not give it one. Basically, it appears that it is built to not need that, which is cool. Reload it still all happens the same so i think that six socket item is a higher value target than the rgb links so it'll get its fancy border if it has six sockets if it has rgb links it would still vendor for the jeweler's orbs so down here let's get grouping for i guess socket group and let's pull this back up so there's linked sockets I can do anything with links larger or equal to three, right? But this socket group is the numeric number of linked sockets followed by an RGB DAW. So I can use that to specify that an item has five or more links with three green sockets with this greater than or equal to five GGG. So that is a greater than or equal to five links with three green sockets. So knowing what this shows me, we need socket group is greater than or equal to three RGB. I think that should do it. I'll save it, drop this back on the ground, reload it. There we go. Oh, look, Saints Halberk right there has one. So it actually showed us another item that has RGB links. And this one is in the order of RBG. So it still works. And then we could buff up the flare on it to make those stand out more but we got the job done what if i do not want to see a big item like this saint's halberd though or a chrome item if i want to pick up an item that i'm just going to sell for a chromatic orb i don't want to pick up these big items they're going to take up a big chunk of my inventory i just want to pick up the smaller items we can do that too so let's specify more in the socket group go back over to here and what i need now is height and width so height is the number of slots the item takes in the y-axis and width is the number of slots the item takes on the x-axis so we want a height limitation here so we want height less than or equal to two so it can't be taller than a two space item saved reload saints halberd is gone because it no longer meets those specifications because it is taller. What about a dagger? What if a dagger shows up? A dagger is a small item. We can add that in there too. So this line we know would negate a dagger from dropping. So if I put a line after it to show that a dagger should show up, it's not going to because it's already been hidden. So if I want to copy this, we'll put it above height less than or equal to. I mean, I don't know if the height would matter there are the staves that are four tall that's the only one by four item but we could we could leave it to be there we could change that to three instead and then width equals one and that would 
grab a dagger using the same bit and then the next one would catch the crusader gloves so if i save this i don't have a dagger let's let's find a dagger here something skinny ambusher let's go make this into a chrome item chrome it give me red green blue there we go next trip out of this map is the last one i need to remember that let's move the portal way over here now dagger oh it's not showing up reload the loot filter Yes, it is. But I've hidden the, the large item that represents a chromatic orb item. Now I'm trying to figure out, is there anything else I really need to go over here before I just jump into mine and start updating my own filter? All this stuff is here on the wiki. The big thing, like of anything that I've mentioned so far, the big things to know is the file, save as, click this, scroll up to all types, and then you can save as a dot filter file. That is the biggest thing to take away. Like it's, it's really easy to tell somebody to save their thing as a filter file, and they'll just come in here, loot filter, dot filter, save text file, right? So make sure that it can save as the filter file. Cool, there it is. And all of these filters right here, like these are text documents <laughs> that I saved wrong. Custom sound alert. That's something I could show you right here. Place the specified custom sound when a spe specified item drops. Almost all common file extensions should be supported. And then, so you put the custom sound alert with the full file path, or you can save the files in your loot filter folder, which is what I've done. So if I go to my folder here, my Path of Exile folder, here's my loot filters dating back to, let's so sort this by date modified. Oldest loot filter in here is from June 10th, 2018. But yeah, then I have sound files in here as well. I even have TTS sound files. So there's a lot you can do with things here, but when you just have it as the sound file in here, you don't have to include any kind of path name for it. I'm almost gonna copy this from my own loot filter, the gold custom sound alert. There's no file path, so it's just gold.wave that's in the folder. And we'll add that to our stackable currency and you can even add it. I'm gonna add it to my wisdom scroll that's hidden. You can give items that you do not visibly see sound alerts. So we've added those in there. This is the gold drop sound from Diablo 2. So it's saved, we pull this back up. Reload. Okay, all these items are already on the ground and showing, so I'm going to pick them up. Yeah, there's a little gold sound. What about the wisdom scrolls? Oh, no, I guess they don't. It did not give the loot drop sound if the item was hidden. Okay, I guess you can't do that. Wait, I do that all the time, though. So yeah, on this loot filter here, I have augmentations, transmutations, all this stuff hidden, but it still has its custom sound alert, and I still hear it dropping. I left it that way on purpose, and that worked. And this case. I wonder if it needs the disable drop sound thing in here. So what that will do is you might be able to hear it here. And what happened to the oils? So oils and stuff have a sound when they drop. It's delayed. It's after the currency sound drop. It's like a plop. The same sound of when I set it in my inventory. Like that, that sound drops. And then if you were to do something like disable a drop sound, throw that in there, reload. Now, if I drop this, that delayed plop sound is no longer there. The item drop sound is gone. It still has a sound on pickup and when I'm placing it in my inventory, but you can get rid of that oily sound from your drop if you want. It's not super important. Let me see if that was required. Still get this to sound. I want to drop my wisdom scrolls, have them hidden, still make the sound. Okay, they're not. Like I said, I'm no expert. If it don't work, I'll change it and try and figure out another idea until something works. Um, hitting the socket groups was good. What else we got on the wiki? I went through the minimap icons, the colors. I didn't do a play effect. So play effect, you type the color and then the temp effect, you leave it empty or you can make it temporary. So let's give the six socket item a temp effect. Six socket, let's go play effect. Let's make it red and then leave it blank. And then the dagger will do play effect, make this one green and make it temp. So there are those. Let's see, where are items? Are they close to each other? dagger and the six socket item now let's move them side by side so now when i open this up i'm going to reload they both get an effect but the dagger one faded away that is the temp effect this is the like full effect on those beeps i can do it again but so that that is the 
temporary visible light or the other light. And then here's all the different colors, same as the ones that are above. I showed a custom alert sound, play alert sound positional with sound volume relative to the distance where the item dropped. Like that seems excessive. It already plays directional audio. So if the item drops like up here in this direction, I'm already going to hear the sound from that direction. I don't need it to change volume. Like I just want to know something was over there. There's font size, background colors, and there's an opacity value there as well. I guess that's with all of these. So you can do the RGB value and then an opacity. And then everything else is like a um, condition. These are the actions. So I think that means you can have multiple of these affect one thing generally like getting one or more of these to be like both conditions is more rare like is the item synthesized cool like that'll generally be its own thing uh you can do like map tier 1 to 17 you can toggle if it's a blighted map shaped map elder map if the item has an implicit modifier or not you can look for just gym levels i do that in my filter you can do stack size you can filter out cluster jewels by the number of passives on them or for specific enchantment passive nodes has enchantment full or partial name of enchantment interesting you could use this to only see talismans that have a certain anoint on them probably any enchantment was just to determine if it had an enchantment from the lab has enchantment whispers of doom and find you talismans with whispers of doom on it and i did not show anything with area level item level drop level i have to change zones for something like that to work so let's do that for the wisdom scrolls we have class base type area level numeric level oh there's an operator then level okay zero to 100 i am in what tier of map right now 83 so i want area level less than or equal to 82 to hide the wisdom scroll so now i save that reload it got my wisdom scrolls i'm in 83 zone they drop so that's what that shows you there i think i think i've gone through all the basics I, I i tried i did my best i was told there was no good guides on this so i i tried to try to give you something um to get you started and then now i'm gonna jump to my loot filter and there's things that need updated in that and then we'll i'll, I'll go through that whole process and continue talking through things as i am updating things and show you what the filter looks like more fleshed out and i picked all this garbage up vendor my six socket and my dagger all right so back to my filter here this is the one i'm currently on so i can scroll through this whole thing like i have the top i have all my currency then i have these sections so this is sanctum stuff crucible stuff sentinel expedition heist there's maps fragments scarabs legion breach fossils resonators are here catalysts like i have i have all these as their own item right because if i drop a turbulent catalyst it's going to look like a turbulent catalyst if i drop an imbued catalyst it's going to look like an imbued catalyst because i went through and i i used the paint color picker thing to go from what at the time was essentially like a screenshot let's see let's find let's find the catalysts so i basically took a screenshot of all the catalysts something like this on the trade website open this up in here and then i was just like taking pieces from each of these little icons i'd get that we had it in here i did that a long long time ago and not only is it that but also i was never able when i tried to get the custom alert sounds to work in filter blade like there is supposedly a way to do it um like to get custom sounds and stuff happening through here i couldn't get it to work it's just easier for me to just mess with the text file myself so that's why i don't use filter blade mainly i i just don't want to have to navigate this crazy menuing and then entering all these colors in this box it seems so obnoxiously tedious when i can just put the numbers in but if you put in the time to do all that for each of your catalysts and your oils and your fossils and your scarabs and all this stuff see fine let's let's grab some oils grab some catalysts right last portal this map that's turbulent catalyst prismatic catalyst i think it just like when the icons on the ground portray what the item actually is i think that just works way better sepia oil it's smaller than the verdant oil indigo oils went up a little bit bigger size it has a bigger sound to it so this is the kind of thing i've done with my loot filter and then i have my own color scheming for items and most other games you have your white items you have your green like magic items 
and then you have your rare items, your epic items, and your legendary items that go through blue, purple, to like gold. So I went with that kind of structure for a magic item that is blue, and then the rare items are purple. And then you have uniques that I made a pearlescent color. You know, there's a unique. Yeah, made a pearlescent color because I wanted the unique legendary items. I wanted them to be shiny, and you know what? I made them shiny because I can do that. But as I continue going down here, I've got essences. I've got essences separated, not only by all their different types for their colors, but I separate the size of the sl smaller essences from the like better, more valuable essences. So, like the essences take up a big block of this. There's a lot of essences. Div cards, um, I'll just touch on this since I'm going through here. This is part of some of the tiering stuff that I had talked about a little bit. Here I have this divination card specifically hidden first, the demoness. Because if I then show the divination card, the demon, which is a piece of a corrupted headhunter, because the demon, in quotes, is in the demoness, if I have that div card stand out every time the demoness drops it'll sound like the demon is dropping so i had to hide that card separately the dragon's heart is another one that can do that there's a divination card called the dragon for a curse gating elixir but then so i i went through and i picked all the cards that are valuable they have a special sound they're bigger on the mini map the loot filter whatnot but then i have the divination cards that i've hidden i had to like type all these in here like in a big list now i've got word wrap on this is all one line so in here how do i view word wrap so this is actually one big long line all the way out here to the right so it's one line of code but it is very hard to like drag copy paste if you can scroll up a line and every single time that you're trying to scroll out here that i accidentally scroll up it pushes me all the way back here big pain word wrap i get to see the whole line right here so that makes things much nicer so you can like see all this this list probably needs gone through again but yeah i have the dragon hidden down here because if i hid the dragon before see like i can hide the demoness up here but if i hide the dragon up here it hides the dragon's heart so i have to hide that one afterwards but i have to hide the demoness before or else it'll hide the demon so this is like all just game knowledge really like hammering out details like that like i've had to see it happen myself with my own loot filter before i ever realized that those specific things were happening so now i'm making sure i see the dragon's heart div cards I'm making sure i don't see the demoness and it doesn't make me think i dropped something big but anyways show the big cards i want hide the cards i don't want and then I group all the rest of the cards in, under the class. And then I show stack decks specifically as well. Gonna need new map or better yet, menagerie. Let's see here, div cards. This is alluring bounty, that's a big one. Boom, bing, like big pop. And that's the level up sound from Diablo 2. Chaotic Disposition, it's a good card, right? It's gonna show up. Boon of Justice, not an amazing card. It's not showing up. So like that's that's the extent of the tiering of my div cards, but there's so many div cards. You do not wanna type out the names of all of them so that I can get all of the rest of them showing up in a visible way. Like I only want the ones I know I'm not gonna pick up to be hidden, which is all of these. And so since I don't wanna type out the names of every single one, we just use the class card, don't, include any base types it'll just grab every card that has not been shown or hidden and make them visible in that way same with the stacked decks here so but this is so old after this is where i have my what i call the essentials at the time it's where i see my uniques uh, i have a spot for fishing rods and i you know what that should have a custom sound alert i'm just gonna make sure that doesn't get missed right now but six linked items five linked items six socket items that do not have five or more links like that should have been taken care of by the five links up here but i have this separated right so before in the practice loot filter i just had one line for six sockets so here i have it specified for rare because my rare item text is different and then i have a border color for it which is the shiny it looks like so the 175, 25, 250, that's my purple color. 0, 100, 200, that's the blue. 200, 200, 200 is the white that I use. It's a little off-white. But because I have these specialized colorings for the drop text, like I actually have to have all three of these lines here for the rare six sockets, magic six sockets, and normal six sockets, or else like I might pick up an item that looks like it's a rare item, but it's actually a normal item just because it got caught up in my six 
socket piece of my filter so i've gotten accustomed to like actually having this whole thing so right after it is flasks quality 20 or above normal flask here's the whole thing quality 20 or above magic flask it has slightly different numbers for the text color but i have to have them separate right so then there is the socket group red green blue just as i did height four normal items are hidden Height four magic items are hidden. Uh, height three with two items are hidden for normal and for magic. And then if I actually wanted to see them, I would show them here. So I hid what I didn't want to see above it, then show the rest of the normal and magic relink items that have red, green, and blue sockets. This is map filter number four that I'm looking at. I go back to map filter number two. This is like, that's my strictness on them the same little bit like it's showing here i got logged out of the game go back to my menagerie is my did i pick my div card up did i just lose div cards i might have just lost div cards that's why i logged myself out i gotta log out macro on my mouse all right um menagerie no you cannot select instance of a menagerie right all you can do like i can come here i can control click the menagerie it's just gonna make a new menagerie every single time like most other times if you like control click an, an instance or area what if i go in here menagerie caverns control click the menagerie yeah it won't let it won't let me have control over this zone so i can't go to the essence instance where i dropped those div cards no i must have just dumped them back in the stash because i pulled that alluring bounty from there did not lose div cards so continuing down through here i have lines for synthesized items below level 75 and above level 75 this affects the border color on the item i'll get to that in a second i have that here for fractured items fractured items can drop as magic items as well so I have that specified uh, determining whether an item is a shaper item above or below item level 75 elder items has influence hunter above or below level 75 same with redeemer crusader warlord veiled items explicit mods from delve or temple of atzawadl or has aspects on them of finimus all these so what this is doing it is looking for identified items that have certain explicit mods from the incursion temples or from bestiary from delve or like one of the meta mods on them any identified item that has one of these mods on it will show up, basically. Um, this class helmet, any enchantment, true. Delete that whole thing. It's going away. No more helm enchants. And then here I have a catch for rare items. So this shows any rare item below level 60. So in case I wind up leveling with this filter, I'm going to see every rare item while leveling. Same with four links oh, one of them's hidden okay yeah it makes sense so this shows me four linked items that are normal below level 60 above level 60 they're hidden but were there to be i need to go back in a map and kill let's do this instead so even if it winds up hidden no i should do something in a map even if it winds up hidden I will be able to see, I like this Onyx amulet, it jumps out a little bit because it's directly coded in my filter. If there were a four link item that dropped, it would show up bigger text and have a big white border around it. And I'd be able to see that item as four link. Really useful when like leveling. Anyways, next thing here, specific items you're looking for. Now, this became a spot for the Atlas base types when they were spread all over the Atlas. That's where they got put into my loot filter for normal and magic items. If I'm looking for a specific base type of an item uh, to craft, I'll normally add those things here. Like um, recently I was looking for pile drivers. So I can add pile driver there and it'll start showing me any normal pile driver that drops on the ground. And I still have this implemented for all these strange base types, uh, steel opal rings and gripped gloves, fingerless silk gloves, spike gloves. Some of these rarer things that exist that are still there. I still see normal and magic items of those there's jewels i have set aside for rare jewels another line for rare jewels that don't have a custom alert tied to them magic jewels other magic jewels so i can hide some of them and show others is the point of that and then other magic jewels and then i have a catch for normal jewels if a jewel drops that is a normal item which i've seen happen with uh normal jewels but cluster jewels will do that all the time so that serves as a catch for me getting normal cluster jewels and them showing up with the correct text and border i have this specified for rings i show all rare rings below level 60 and i showed these grouping of rings below level 75 
and these grouping of rings above level 75. So this is probably the point I should make this make sense. Go back to the wiki here. Vendor recipes. All right, somewhere in here. Currency stuff. Here it is. So rare items, level 1 to 59. You vendor a full gear set. Helmet, chest, belt, boots, gloves, two rings, amulet. All below level 60, you will get a chance orb. Two chance orbs if they're all unidentified or 20% quality. And three chance orbs if they are all unidentified in 20% quality. I don't think I've ever seen that happen. But then from 60 to 74, all those items are now can be used to make chaos orbs, the chaos recipe, and then 75 plus can be used for regal orbs. Now, when I was originally making this filter, I baked it into my filter so that I could tell what vendor recipe an item was for. Now, at the time, I really would never make it too high tier maps. Let me find a map here. T7. This is um, monster level 74, so I should see varying items here. T6 might be better. And I'm also going to back the loot filter down a little bit so that more rare items show up. All right, I got a unique. So this rare item here has the shiny pearlescent border to it. I know just looking at the item, it is 75 plus. That is the whole whole purpose for it. The So these items right here, they just have a purple border. These items are between level 60 and 75. I can just pick this item up and I need items for my chaos recipe. I can identify these items can be used for chaos recipe. These items can be used for regal recipe and items from the campaign that I find are not going to have a border at all. Here's one of those four links I was just mentioning. That coronal leather is four link. It's not showing on my filter, but I, I gave it that look even when hidden so that I can specify a more valuable item, even when looking at the hidden items. It can still stand out there. Weeping Essence of Anger. Hey, that looks like a Weeping Essence of Anger to me. Cool. It's not a big one. It's only a Weeping, so it's small. Tainted Jeweler's Orb. So, if you're wondering why I have this rares below 60, rares below 75, rares greater than or equal to 75, it is for the chance chaos regal recipe. I don't use that recipe ever. I haven't in years, but the, that is still the way that I divided up when and where I'm seeing items. Maybe that needs to change, but right now that's what it is. So I've got amulets, I've got belts, I've got gems. This should be a different part of the filter as this is where I'm starting to get into items. I have special gems that are awakened, showing up really big. I make sure I see portal, empower, item, quant, enlighten, enhance, and vol gems. I see gems that are gem level 18 or above. I see gems that are quality. I changed this the other day. 10 and above. And then I hide every other gem. I have lines in here for flasks. I see normal utility flasks all the time. And I only see magic utility flasks above level 60. I see all of these basic life flasks below level 50. I can see a hallowed and sanctified life flask below level 68. Always see divine and eternal life flasks. Like this, this part of my loot filter definitely isn't as pretty because it hasn't been touched in five years so then here's now i get the big header for items so here's like the first time i'm like specifying items like i did it for rings like and belts and whatnot i have all the belts here but i don't have all the belts there because there's stygian visors and there's mech alarm belts and all this other stuff that has come after the fact that like crystal belts not even here part of the atlas currents uh items so th this is where like i need work on my filter but here i still using the same above or below item level 75 to like change the border on the text as the only thing that's changing so that I can specify whether I can use that item for a regal recipe or a chaos recipe. But here I have kind of have things grouped into basic types. These are all weapons, melee weapons. And then this has some quivers, thicket bow, wands, scepters, daggers grouping there. And in this version of this filter, I'm hiding these items below 75 and I'm showing them above 75. So if I were to go back in this, this map I just did, might be able to see examples of that even. So Hubris Circlet is being hid below level 75. But if I were to change that to instead say show, it would show a Hubris Circlet that looks like, like this. So even though I have this item hidden in my filter, it keeps all of the text for displaying how it shows up. It just shows hidden. And when I look at it, by looking at what else is here, it's still there. And it still jumps out to me as a more valuable item can 
compared to all of the rest of the items there. Same here. Like, these are rare items. They jump out a little bit, but they don't jump out as much as this Hubris Circlet that doesn't have the shiny border because it's only level 74. But this is a more valuable item than either of these two base types. So I think the point I'm trying to get to there, it's not as simple as just show the things you want, hide the things you don't. I'm hiding the things that I don't want to see, but those items were enough to make me type their name in the loot filter, so there's still a valuable item, even though I don't want to see them at this moment, I might want them to still stand out from other items, kind of thing. And I honestly don't know how I get out of this above and below 75 thing. Like, I could fixate things for certain item levels like i only want to see these items at this tier so that they can get this roll on them kind of thing but then here like i'm showing base types for armor for evasion for energy shield armor evasion armor es and evasion es i have like the top tier items set aside for just helmets and then body armors i have a bunch of bases uh here's some more chest armors here's my gloves boots shields and then i have duplicated lines from up above where i had all this atlas items bone helmets two-tone boots all of that but down here is where i'm showing them rare and then below that i have the big list of heist base types that I know I need to like filter through and get rid of some because there's some are getting changes in Affliction League, but this should probably be in its own area maybe because it is tied to heist and I can put all my heist stuff together. So when heist stuff changes, like, I don't have to go fishing this stuff from everywhere. So it is really nice that it is still here in this block because I don't have to go fish my cogwork and geodesic rings out of my basic rings part of my filter like it's all here show rare items below 75 above 75 with different borders i also have runic stuff here never in my filter has anything highlighted or shown a ritual item base type in any special way i find them in ritual i was like oh that's an arch demon crown it looks different than anything else i've ever seen even though it's grayed out because it shows stuff on your filter in there but expedition base types and then i'm getting to the very bottom of this this is where i have a rare item below or above 75 and this generally early on in league i will have me it's showing me things like a specific weapon type that i'm looking for like i know i need to be looking for shields on this build and i'm playing with a wand so i add in here wands and even though up above i have it singled out to show me certain wands profane prophecy tornado opal imbued every other wand that drops that is rare i'll see it because i'm looking for a wand for my wand build right and i can do that for both of these so i'll see those just based on the class class is a huge thing and then there's everything else i'm showing talismans at the moment that changes sometimes sometimes i'll hide them but then i'm hiding all the rest of the rare items below 75 above 75 showing any currency that got missed showing any fragments that got missed hiding magic items hiding normal items and that's the end of it the big question like once you've gotten through all this stuff and just like you want to decide exactly which items you want to see and if i want to change this on the fly it is really easy for me to open up my loot filter find where i have my boots say i know for a fact on this build all i need is boots with energy shield on them so i just come in here dragon skull boots done gone all these boots done gone i only need boots with energy shield i only see in those boots now and then you probably want to save a copy of your filter at that point because you just deleted stuff but this right here it's set up to be a general filter because if i want something super hammered down i normally would make a special filter for it like for the shifting stones of it i took my line of wands and stuff i made it only show me demon's horns every other thing at the end of that was just hidden i don't i, don't, I didn't need anything else on that point because this was for a specific event i cut it down to exactly what i needed to hide everything else so there's definitely some variance there it's not the huge 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 thing i need to fix i'm pretty generally happy um with how this part of my filter works sometimes i need to add in a new base type or or something if i'm trying to gather items for all all different builds at once kind of thing i need to be seeing lots of different base types and you would have to know which base types you want this is where we go back to the wiki and this is where things start to get painful so here's a list of all the claws in the game there's a lot so i i definitely don't need to 
program it into my filter that I don't need to see a nailed fist while I'm in maps, right? There's a lot of base types that we're getting in here to the Imperial Claw is generally the best fizz base, has the highest attack speed, but it doesn't have as high flat fizz damage compared to a Terror Claw or a Vol Claw. But that one's slower, right? Well, it has more crit chance. So maybe there's a situation where a Vol Claw might be useful. So when I'm doing Claws, maybe I want to be looking for the Terror Claws, Imperial Claws, the Vol Claws, the Eye Gougers. Like you have to define which like items that you are looking for. So when it comes to Claws, I'm looking for Imperial Claw. That's the only one I'm specifically looking for. Generally, in almost every case, Imperial Claw is going to be what you want. But this goes for every item type in the game. Let's, let's look for Boots. The Boots is even crazy easier because you've got your armor boots your evasion boots and your energy shield boots armor evasion boots armor es boots and then evasion es boots it's even worse with body armors there's a, there's a lot more of those so there's definitely a time like earlier in the league where you might be willing to pick up and identify a pair of goliath greaves in your white maps because you need anything with good rolls on it so maybe this list of boots isn't good enough for starting maps that's why this is this is map filter 2. let's open 322 map filter and see how it's different down there and yeah this is a mess so this has spirit shields mixed in with the lines with the boots but i've got titan greaves fall greaves goliath greaves slink boots stealth boots chagrin boots like all of the top base types of every one of the different classes of boots and then if i still want boots beyond that i will show all rare boots so the boots that are just naturally showing up like i know they're of the higher tier and i'm just looting lots of boots at that point and then later on the league is like okay now i want to start seeing less boots it's here in the map filter number three this is when well i still want to see these boots but i don't want to see them as often so i have base defense percentile greater than or equal to 50 here which means let me take this hubris circlet for example hubris circlet rolls from 80 to 90 92 on its base so it is only going to show me those pairs of boots if they roll 50 percent on their base or better now they could still be a rare item and fall below that and it would just be hidden on my filter i wouldn't know it's there because i don't need as many boots and i want the boots i do find to be better and i'm finding larger bigger packs of stuff i'm still finding lots of these things so then let's go up another tier filter now i'm still seeing all of these same boot bases only that base percentile is 95 percent or better so sork boots have to be max roll or i'm not going to see them but i have to if i put it at 100 i only see the max roll titan greaves which have a much bigger roll so if you put it at 100 you end up finding lots of sorcerer boots because there's only like a one in nine roll there for the sork boots but you find way less of the things with larger rolls because you have to hit on 100 percent on it so given a little bit of leeway there now i'm only seeing five percent of the pairs of boots that drop but the five percent of boots that i'm picking up are all very well rolled so th that is pretty much all that changes with the tier tiering of my loot filters if you were to end up using mine it's pretty much just this base percentile thing and then like narrowing down the number of bases from filter to filter and then tier five my loot filter i was like i don't care i don't want to see the boots anyways even if they even if they do fit that description still hit them and then i have it in some of these filters and not others like I, I gotta work on this um item level 86 plus normal items base defense percentile 80 plus so if i see an 86 Royal Berg and it's rolled really high I'll see that normal item so I can pick it up because that's a really good base so I think I think I've pretty much done it I've gone through my loot filter kind of explained everything most of it like yeah here's my maps I have it set to your 11 plus those are red maps so they show with a red circle and they show up with red text color that I dropper pulled in paint out of the icon for a red map. Now, the yellow maps, they've got a yellow circle that I did the same thing with. So I could go through all these things. Like this is a giant list of me giving custom colors to things that dropped with custom drop sounds and their mini map icons. And I haven't updated it since they added new colors and icons. So I don't have many. Like scarabs, they all have their, their specific color. Every, I shouldn't say every, painted jeweler's orb. Is getting pulled from jewelers or from my currency like yeah my weeping essence of anger looks perfect this looks like i would expect a weeping essence of anger to look like on the ground if ggg made a loot filter for the game the fact that if you do not have a loot filter your only options are none where you see this run into a, just a normal map and default 
where it kind of hides stuff blows my mind absolutely blows my mind but anyways i'm gonna take a break for a bit when i when i come back i'll update this thing finish this out and get it going all right let's get into this what do we got going on here we got quest item normally shows up small and green i wanted that to be red because i made my currency green as in green money easy i currently have heist target and expedition logbook here as well and that works for those so for item classes there is expedition logbooks there's heist targets and there's also other heist things so down here i have a heist section so i can copy this whole thing put it in heist remove quest remove logbook same thing for expedition there we go I can change those up later. I want to keep quest items as it is. And then that is the same for watch stones and void stones. And I currently have that set for all of the keys in lab, the stone of passage in incursions, as well as the flash powder kegs. That's fine there, honestly. Maven invitations I could do something with. That's kind of work there too. We'll leave it for now. Go into currency. So I've got one, two, three, four, five sections for currency, really. Five different tierings. Mirror, albino row of feather, and internal orb I have set aside. Then tainted divine teardrops, sacred orb, exalt divine, conqueror exalts, and awakener's orb. So there's definitely things that need added to that list, I think. What do we got here? What is this? Orb of dominance. Orb of dominance. There we go. I don't know that the eldritch orbs go here. I think they're at the next tier. It's really nice. Actually, I can hover over this. I can see the thing and still be windowed in to my notepad. There we go. Eldritch chaos, exalt, and orb of annulment there we go orb of annulment so those are no longer getting caught in my extra currency check at the end of the filter orb of conflict goes up here and there's tainted currency i have the tainted divine teardrop set aside all of the others just drop with their regular currency item except maybe a tainted mythic orb is that up in this tier of currency, I don't know that it is. Like, these are big drops. I think they all go in the Ancient Orb, Chaos Orb tier. Painted Orb of Fusing. You can't just type Fusing Orb and it work. Some of them are backwards. And the other ones, I guess, go down in the next tier. They even put the Armorers and Blacksmiths here, I think. What's the rest of the Tainted Currency? There's the Tainted Blessing. I think this is going away. I wonder what happens to the existing ones. That feels like it deserves its own thing, part of a lab thing. Maybe put that up here with the other lab stuff. Painted Blessing, sure. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and just delete this second bit of this. It used to be to hide single stack size of things before everything got buffed in stack size, so now I've just always been showing it, but trims a bit down. Other things here, embers and eagers are not here currently but they probably deserve their own thing they deserve their colors i think elevated sextant that's not here i think that should be in the top tier no not even here is that exalt big i mean awaken sextant is chaos big probably it goes up here adds more big sounds to maven drops that's all this is really doing surveyor's compass these do actually drop on the ground this one's getting picked up by the currency catch it is a free chaos orb so we'll put it chaos orb tier orb of unmaking did this filter get it i don't think it did this one still needs the orb of unmaking let me do file save as all file types 323 map filter 2 anything else that needs to be here ambassador's lens that maybe needs to go with the other harvest stuff that I need to add. Need a whole harvest section. Recombinators. They probably go in their own section as well. Regrading lens are going away. Tempering and tailoring orb. I'm putting those in the currency, not in heist. Those are in. I'm going to put faster lens in here too. Chaos tier. Just in case that's something that can drop on the ground i i don't want to miss that i guess if it's a currency item i would have bought it anyways ambassador's lens fracturing orb okay that's exalt here and i gotta consider splinters as well infused engineer's orb sure i'll put it in here i think that's everything there what's next ancestor currency so these are all currency items hyacora's lock all the tattoos yeah they were dropping like that and all these omens and the omens are still going to be around i think let's see i need item filter information all these corpses they're class for that 
corpses. Good. Oh, all these things I need to add. I need to add charms, tinctures, new rings, amulets, tainted catalyst. We've got to rename some metamorph to ultimatum stuff. Change some colors. Returning items. Inscribed ultimatum and all of these omens. I don't think I want omens as currency. Okay, so I need to be on the lookout for that. Pinocore's lock I'm putting in here. And I feel like it's got to go in the like eternal orb mirror tier. And if it tells me... When the league starts that it doesn't know what that is then i'll remove it but they're still going to exist in standard so they can still be dropped on the ground so it can go in the filter pretty confident about that silver coin though that might be getting completely removed and i don't think i ever re-added it you know i did i did get okay, silver coin let that go and then the tattoos i definitely am not about to go through and give these ones all colors those definitely aren't going to be dropping sanctum and unique relics that's its own thing. Shards and splinters. This, though, need to look at. Further down, transmutation, blacksmith, armors. Brandis coin. I'll still leave it here. So we're chaos shard, ancient shard, regal shard, harbinger shard, portal scroll, alchemy shard, horizon shard. Fracturing shard and mirror shard need to be somewhere. Make mirror shard exalt tier. Actually, that's probably even above. The mirror shard drops on the ground. Fracturing shard. I'm going to put the fracturing shard chaos tier. I don't think even if I put it up here in this top tier, I'd even freak out if fracturing shards dropped. So even though they're probably more valuable in a cool find than a chaos orb, I think that's where it goes. Ancient shards can be moved up a tier though. I want those to stand out more as well as the harbinger shards. Those are really rare. I have Simulacrum Splinter in here as well. Uh, I need Maven Splinters, Ritual Splinters. Ritual Splinters are like alteration using tier. Transmute, Alteration, Binding, Engineer, Shard in the bottom tier. Yeah, that looks right. Actually, it doesn't even have Transmute Shards here. You can't even trade and Transmute Shards on the trade site. A Prandus Coin in two places. A Prandus Coin drops it. It deserves the gold sound. So Fragments gets into a whole nother category. So that is different from here. I think that's about it for currency. Do I have annulment shards on here? I don't think I do. Okay. So that's a big chunk of this out of the way. I'll leave the stuff open. I haven't touched. Blessings are here, but I have those taken care of, I'm sure of. I'll leave the exotic currency open. That still has stuff in it. Shards. Uh, oh, the Crescent Splinter for Maven. That one I didn't do. We'll put that one up here. Crescent Splinter. Got that. All right, I know everything in that tab is taken care of. So let's save this. 322 map filter 2. Refresh. Item filter loaded successfully. Oh, that's right. I changed the name. We got 323. Three. Still loaded successfully. Good. So let's scroll down here. What do I have next? I have Sanctum. Why don't I just move mm. this is normally i just like start adding new currency stuff as it comes in so i would make a big header affliction i can put stuff there so i can come back and do the affliction stuff later i want to work on fragments make sure that's all good to go so the sanctum stuff crucible lake expedition it has its currency stuff all here and i have ultimatum and mirrored tablets slapped on this metamorph doesn't really have its own section like Catalysts have their own section. I feel like maps should probably be in a different spot than where it is currently, but I'll, I'll worry about moving sections later. Fragments. So I have here Divine Vessel offering to the goddess inscribed ultimatum. They just drop as they basically would. They didn't change their drops look at all. I have a mini map icon with a blue circle, and I'm really happy with my fragment sound. So, okay, what about a ritual vessel? That's a good question. I have Divine Vessel offering to the goddess. Hmm. Hmm, Maven's Rich. Okay, so this is my basic fragment catch. So all I've done to these, actually, is I've increased the text size on Offering to the Goddess and Divine Vessel, and they're dropping as my fragment catch. Let me go all the way to the bottom and look at that. So that is how it normally would drop. I'm just giving it a drop sound. It's not changing it in any other way. Fragments normally just drop white text white border so i have inscribed ultimatum set up to be like that as well it would make sense i think that there wouldn't be ultimatum in here all right i want to zoom this website and there we go then let's grab a screenshot of all of these here we go open that in paint where's divine vessel on this is it even here i don't think it is well i can at least take this gray from the offering to the goddess and let's see what that is so take text and 
border color, add that in there. The numbers are 78, 95, 85. So I'm gonna copy both those numbers to there. So now it's gonna have an offering to the goddess drop of color. Reload that see how it looks and that's a little too dark i feel like we're offering the goddess i must have gotten too dark of a color all right let's try that again then let's go like right in the center maybe where it glow is more of an almost green color to it let's try that one 130 189 189 save reload drop it that's better it seems it seems just like a tad too green <laughs> that's what i aimed for though okay let's try again like that pixel that went darker it still has a green tint to it okay, i must have hit one of the black lines on it here we go what is this 89 138 138 that's a that's a big drop in it it was more like up here okay i, I hit the same color exactly what happens if i just like lower the green inch to like 170 that that looks like it just about did it hey reload that looks more like offering the goddess to me and like looking at a divine vessel divine vessel can be that same i'm fine with that inscribed ultimatum though ultimatums they're more yellow about like these reliquary keys if i remember correctly now i wonder if i have a full simulacrum in here anywhere oh divine vessels at the end of this all the way at the bottom i have reliquary keys covered fragment of knowledge and shape i have the colors so do terror and emptiness all of the shaper ones have their colors as do the elder ones i still have keys from prophecy league in here i'll leave those mortal fragments sacrifice fragments sacrifice fragments are smaller don't get a minimap icon ritual vessel is here as well ritual vessel can fit with these at the top so another vessel for it sacred blossom doesn't have anything i'm gonna put it here as it should a holding place with the inscribed ultimatum and a simulacrum simulacrum fits the color so i'm happy with that there the ultimatum pieces those are not in here at all they're kind of a unique dull orange color all the other reds here are a little bit more red this is very brown so i'm gonna copy this whole section we'll make a new color here basically all these things at the top can go we'll leave inscribed ultimatum go back to my screenshot i want an orangey color from this piece there that is very brown there's a little orangey in it sure we'll see what it, tune it up a tiny bit 112 50 17 copy and paste then back here i need names victorious fate deadly end that's the one i've never gotten myself will of chaos that's the one i've never gotten myself ignominious fate save it and let's check victorious fate did i spell it wrong victorious fate hmm. i don't save i need hidden tabs for that ultimatum aspect i feel like that has to be its own like it drops like that oh okay the filter broke that's why roll x save try again it's a currency item why is it a currency item divine vessel maven's writ doesn't have anything it's really weird that it's a currency item will of chaos ultimatum aspect victor i-o-u-s space fate yeah what if i just take that one out see if it works bad for all of them yeah no deadly end okay let's try ultimatum aspect that worked no huh what if i make the thing do i have all the pieces for i don't have all the pieces somewhere in here i, I have the pieces these are all left side i don't know maybe i don't have it so it's not a fragment it's clearly registered as a currency item but the name of it will not uh maybe i have to put the whole thing let me try that if that works ultimatum aspect should have gotten it no it doesn't know that well i have something for inscribed ultimatum maven's writ and sacred blossom can go together and maven's invitations it has listed here as well i don't have anything for those the tribute to the goddess these extra lab things those are not caught by anything i want to know what does this look like okay it's picked up at the very top the invitations so that's why it's always seemed really important because it's like quest item thing which isn't bad but the maven thing is not maven splinters i exalt sound and look now also do not have the conqueror rests so i'm gonna copy up the whole shaper set I need one more of these. This is going to be the Maven's Rich. Sacred Blossom needs to move to there. Change the labels on all of these. Al Hesman's 
crest. Baron's crest. Rox's crest. Veritania's crest. Back to paint. Pick somewhere in this maven thing. I want blue though. That wasn't blue. Yeah, that was blue. 50, 92, 235. For both text color and border color. I never really do anything with the backgrounds. I just always left it as base. So that color seems fine for maven sacred blossom and I can put the other offerings there as well. Al Hesman's Crest. Grab a green. Dark green. And I'm picking this again. I've already done this for influenced items, but hopefully these colors offset and it sticks out amongst a bunch of those. 27, 49, 21. Baron, that's a pretty deep red. 64, 5, 2. There's good gold all over the Drox one though. This one should be easier. 205, 130, 31. One more. It's Veritania, 142, 152, 175. That seems good. Mavid Sacred Blossom needs tribute to the goddess, gift to the goddess, and dedication to the goddess. And then yeah, aside from these ultimatum things... I don't know. I think I got it all. So next on my filter is scarabs. That's definitely a thing here. There's one that I definitely have to change as well. So all of these are going to be just fine. These are really only here for their color. The issue being the metamorph scarab. This is going to be ultimatum. Scarab and then it needs a new color. Path of Exile, Scient, Affliction. Ultimatum is going core. Oh, there's an inscribed ultimatum. I can get a color for this once it loads. So we get to see the catalyst and the ultimatum. I feel like that orangey color that I picked isn't bad. Tainted Catalyst though is very red. Ultimatum itself is just kind of very like deep heavy red. So Scarabs are kind of, Scarabs are normally like a deeper color I feel like. Well, this is going to be red but it's going to go into this deeper red. So for a red color, I'm thinking like Vol Emblem Red or the Vol Splinter Red. Let's find that. This is... Legion. Ball Splinter 182 368. Seems good. Or Ultimatum Scarab. And this is going to break my ability to check this in the game. Yeah, because it doesn't know what an Ultimatum Scarab is yet. So I think the rest of the Scarabs are okay. Going back up to all these other fragments, this, like, I don't know that I really care too much about the minimap icons. Honestly, like, I have it as a blue circle. There were only five colors when I added these and only six shapes. So cross, moon, raindrop, kite, pentagon, upside down house. I don't have any minimap icons of or um, yellow, cyan, gray, orange, pink, or purple. I feel like fragments such as this, they're, they're probably like warranting of a star. Let's do, let's give them a purple star. Okay, I'm gonna copy this. No, 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 I want to copy the blue circle. Copy blue circle, control F, find, click place, replace that with, no, I want to copy purple star, find minimap icon, one blue circle, replace with one purple star, find next, oh, we're going backwards. Okay, but it went right to the bottom of the list, so that's really quirky, but um, let's not go backwards. Find next, place, replace. Yep, get them all. All these boss fragments, and that was all of them, actually. So it's the only place I had blue circle of a size one. So mortal fragments are going to get a purple star, and then sacrifice fragments already were not getting minimap icons. Cool, that's fine with me. So for scarabs, those are getting yellow diamonds currently, and I think that's fitting. Scarabs all have this kind of, like, structure to them. The rusted, polished, gilded, even winged, they... A lot of them have this structure and the one on the gilded jumps out of you as being that yellow. It's kind of a diamond shape, so that one works. I'm happy with that for those. I got ultimatum scarab color changed. Next is legion. So this is needed updated for a minute. Scarabs, I'm good with. Incubators, there's a lot more of these now. There's incubators in here that don't exist in the game currently. And there's one being changed. Morphing incubator is going to be challenging incubator. And I didn't have it in here anyways. So I have this split in between scarabs or incubators I want to pick up and ones I still want to see them drop, but I don't. And there needs to be more that I want to pick up. Too many show up small that shouldn't be. So let's go through them. Whispering and fine can't drop. Singular, I typically want to pick up. Unique Scott Rarer. Cartographers, Otherworldly, Abyssal. I could 
do without those. Fragmented is one I want. And then I'm going to copy this, actually. I might have others I want to do this for, but the Fragmented Incubator, I want to set, go back to the Loot Filter Guide, Area Level, greater than or equal to 81. Otherwise, they show up small. For the Fragmented Incubators, for sure. The only real reason to want to use them is to get Mortal Fragments out of them, ideally. What else? Infused, I have Fossilized is up there. Halgurian Incubators are very good. Diviners is up there. Enchanted Incubator. This is one I would have moved up there, but Enchanted Incubators are gone. Geomancers, Ornate, Time Lost. That one's there. Celestial ones I don't need. I don't like Eldric Incubators show up anymore. Obscured. This one should be up there. Foreboding on the list. Thaumaturgy Mysterious can stay. Blighted. Goes with the Fragmented. I'm going to get Oils. I want them to be from high tier. Morphing Incubator is going to be a challenging incubator. And these ones don't get special colors because they just get the X. They get that whatever yellow. Then a Maddening Incubator also can... I'll at least pick that up. Then Legions, I have set up with splinters and emblems for each of the different ones. Now, I don't have it in here for unrelenting, but that just adds it to the beginning, and technically, it's a redundant line of code, as this grabs them both. Now, splinter of Cheula, blessing of Cheula, Cheula's breach stone, and Cheula's flawless. So this got updated last league, or whenever they made the breach change most recently. So I have the blessings all here. So all of these emblems have green squares. No, green squares are yeah the emblems are the green squares the splinters don't have green squares unless they're templar or marikath okay i don't mind the big green square i can even make it bigger by changing that to zero for the emblems yeah that's what I have on the breach stones already. So then I want to add moon. Green kind of blends in with currency. So Maricat Splinter. We're going to go orange moon. Yeah. Size one for Templar Maricat. I feel like I want all these to have sounds. All of the vault splinters. Now the other splinters, breach ones, I want those. They can stay orange, but they're getting a teardrop. Raindrop. Big green. Okay, they already, they were circle or square. Squares for the eternal emblem, circles for the breach stones. Splinter of all, Ash, Cool, and Zoth. Cool. Incubators are yellow hexagons. That's fine. So then I have fossils and resonators. I got these separated by base types. They've got colors. One has a white triangle. One has a yellow triangle even on those. And then I have class currency fossil. This shows me all my fossils. So the issue that I have with fossils fossils currently is not really with the fossils. I shouldn't drop faceted fossils on the ground. Drop a stack of pristine fossils on the ground. Resonators on the ground. Prime alchemical resonator on the ground. All good. Then get a fossilized delirium orb. Stackable currency. Base type fossil. Then there's another delirium orb. Shows up as a currency item that currently doesn't have a place. Add it to the list of things. So if I do delirium orbs, they need to go before fossils because fossils grabbing my fossilized delirium orb. There's a lot of different types of delirium orbs. I feel like they're all equally valuable to pick up. And even if they're the bad types of them, they have value. And they're very much like incubators. Okay, primal delirium orbs, maybe not. But I'm not typing all of them out to not include it in the fact that all these look the same. Just like incubators. So I should style them like incubators. So I'll find the incubators and we'll add a delirium section. So copy the whole incubator thing. Don't need incubators. We need base type delirium orb. Make sure that's how it's written out. Yep, delirium orb. So that should get, catch them all. Then I need a color for that. It's very white. Plenty of colors on here. Pull something from the tip of this elder fragment. 255, 255, 255. Okay, that is white. Okay, let me try the... Uh, uh, eternal emblem. One a little bit duller than white. 198s across the board. 198, 198, 198. Eight. Now, I don't want delirium orbs to have the same sound effect that the incubators do. It's more of the chunky scarab fragment thing. Delirium needs to be lighter. Almost like the chime effect that I have for all of my, like, special bass types. The rare sound. This one. Delirium. Change the sound. We have the coloring minimap icon is white circle. Sure. So that covers that. So then the fossils are all fine. 
I don't have anything big for like the bigger fossils. I don't want to pull those out right now. So then catalysts. No catalysts are changing. We're getting a new one. That is what this is for. Need another little screenshot there. Let's grab a nice red color from that. And it is called tainted catalyst. Copy that. Tainted catalyst color is 210, 13, 16. Good. Now green triangle for catalyst triangle makes sense there green we can get a different color for that there are no cyan catalysts i think the, i think these are going to be purple too they're going to be purple triangles okay happy with that oils no oils are changing got the incubator got the delirium orb ultimatum aspect renamed to vol aspect i mean it wasn't even showing up it wasn't giving me ultimatum aspect anyways so i think it's like the full connected one that this is referring to i need a catch somewhere for corpses got the catalyst have we seen the divination cards? I don't know. Anyways, oils, clear oils, sepia oils. I have them smaller than the, the others. They kind of taper up. Amber verdants are smaller. They all have their colors. Tainted oil, 156, 20, 22. 156, 20, 22. Yeah, it's still a big red. Essences are all good to go. Couldn't be happier with essences. Small essences don't have a border and they're smaller. Bigger essences have a border and they're bigger. Like I normally keep those all the time. Like maybe in the more strict filters, it could get to the point where you'd want to hide the lower value ones. Happy with all of those. Remnant of corruption. Yeah, div cards. So in this version of the filter here, I am showing all these div cards small. Now I just gotta go ahead and remove Move that and move it down. Because this is back to the demon, the dragon situation. But the demon is a big drop. The dragon's heart is a big drop. But it's the demoness. So, okay. Copy this back up here. Just this one card. Shrink this completely down to demoness. So that card shows smaller. Then it shows all my big cards. So that one doesn't get caught up. The rest of these come after. Dragon doesn't have an issue because of that. These are the cards I would later in more strict filters hide. But for now, they're just small they don't have a drop sound effect and i can see the total of number of div cards that drop but since i don't want to type out every div card like i just have in here the ones that i really really want to see big the ones i really want to see small the rest of it catches everything else i don't like there's anything else needed there for div cards and i'm good so then i'm getting into gear stuff unique items six sockets oh this is six links five links i don't know if it plays both of these sound effects or not okay and then there's my six sockets i have quality flasks here and then the red green blue links crafting bases is this all gear below here yeah i might have reached gear okay and gems are in here i need to take gems out of gear move it to the top gear definitely needs cleaned up a lot as well so okay in here i have a spot for harvest i need harvest as well so well, we'll do harvest do the gems gems don't need changed i'm happy with gems quality 10 plus i other gems that's good i'm still in t2 filter here tier one filter i probably show any quality gems so there's a few things harvest needs those are just i got the sacred blossom taken care of it was life force let's grab those i got a new screenshot we need three new colors so this is currency the straight up currency we get the gold sound or a like a ding. Um, I think it gets a gold sound. It has been having the gold sound, so I'll do that. So copy paste one of those there. Move a bunch of things. Temporary effects, I'm fine with that. Show on the mini map. Okay. I have wild crystallized life force. Two L's and crystallized life force. Okay, that's good. Copy this two times. And then I've got vivid and primal. Color number one for wild. Ooh, that seems a little I want it more red. Just get random pixels out of here. It doesn't always translate to the bigger thing. That is a very deep purple. Hmm. Hmm. It keeps giving me this very purple color. I think I'm going to just go with it. 160, 135, 159. Copy that to the border. Okay. Vivid. Very yellow. 230, 193, 71. Copy to border. And the primal. I want the lighter blue, not the 
darker blue there. That looks fine. 42, 119, 166. Okay, I'll consider that in. And I want to go back up here, comment out the catalyst. So I'm just going to add little hashtags to the front of each line. So I, I want to be able to test what I've done before I start messing with gear. Challenging incubator. I guess I just block out incubators. And the ultimatum scarab. Okay. Uh, back to 323 filter. I spelled demonus wrong. Deominus. Well, that means it made it past all this stuff, which is good. The demonus. Okay, all good. So, essentials. Unique item. Yep, that's fine. Now, if you want to restrict unique items, uh, it's actually based on the base item type, whether or not, like, where you do so. So, you wouldn't hide a leather belt, even though all the leather belt uniques that you pick up are generally worthless because the headhunter can drop and that's the leather belt and those things kind of change all the time sometimes uniques change bases there's new uniques introduced and well i'm just showing all unique items if i want to make them bigger make them smaller sure there they are six links five links are shown vendor recipes got them okay i'm gonna take the flasks and probably move it i feel like i want quality flasks because i want flasks so let's put flasks next actually that's gonna move the jewelry closer to the rest of the items all right quality flask normal magic they show up good and then i'm happy with the utility flasks i think i have them all the last ones added were iron corundrum and the gold flask tinctures are going to be different yeah they have their own item class looking at these here flasks do they have their own item class life flasks and mana flasks do utility flasks is an item class so i can simplify this instead of this whole base type thing i can do class utility flasks that just cleans that up if there's others later that's fine i have magic flasks below 60 showing up bigger than after 60 because then after you have to then scour them if you want to like actually craft them and use them so i'm happy with that earlier on they're more useful you want to pick it up more so it shows all of these flasks below level 50 normal or magic hidden above level 50 hollowed sanctified flasks shown below 68 normal and magic hidden above 68 that doesn't have a normal and magic um so those two flasks are shown below 68 hidden above but if i look underneath they show up bigger so then divine and eternal life flasks those are shown always only for normal not with magic and i miscopied this magic color as white i need the same here for magic flasks and then i'm gonna hide the magic ones instead of leaving it be maybe those don't need to be 26 or 32 they should be 26 in the size i probably need to copy that whole bit and just change life to mana yep what i'm gonna do okay copy paste over mana all right find replace find what life place with mana uh backwards direction please find next which one is highlighted okay so now i'm up here in the actual life flasks so go forward find next replace then click keep clicking replace until i get out of flasks fine eternal divine eternal and backwards direction find next take me back to where i was good mana flasks done hybrid flasks both are hidden the same deal here they don't have normal and magic coloring or being hidden For some reason normal is below magic here all right all of this has its coloring correctly and these are hidden they can be 26 size as well i don't know when the last time i've used a hybrid life flask was but they're here seal when leveling not went out okay so then there's the fractured item conundrum. Synthesized items below and above 75, that's fine. Fractured items, though, I keep seeing all of these items I don't want to see. So I need to trim that down. So what that's going to mean is I need to copy all the fractured items, probably move it above synthesized. So this is just right at the top here. We get right into fractured items. So fractured item true. Okay, at the top of this, first one is for class. So which item classes do I always want to see fractured? 
fractured items of. That is wands, staves, and scepters for sure. Oh, here we go. Rings, amulets. What about belts? Uh, jewels. Is abyss jewels its own thing? Abyss jewels is. But jewels with the tag here it will grab them both. If you specify jewels, you also are specifying abyss jewels. Looking at the other item classes here, I'm not seeing anything like I want to see every single one of. Maybe quivers, but I could narrow that down as well. So this is where it becomes a problem because this part's easy. It's the next part. That's the problem. So for these, copy this for above 75 and magic items. So for this, I need a list of base items. And that's why this is painful. Because the rest of like the base items I want, I don't think I have them all listed down with my items. So I'm just going to copy all of these bases for sure. These are all special bases. This is going to be a long list of items, but this is needed done for a very long time and it's going to happen. So on this list, Stygian Vice stays, Vermilion and Cerulean ring can go the other rings and amulets can go they're caught from above grasping mail wouldn't drop but i'll keep it there i light ring goes sea glass amulet goes so a fractured item of any of these base types would stick around i'd see it aha cool i can copy this from another window that's good i i don't want three i want map filter one all right this one is a mess but i'm just gonna Let's see, take what I have here. Add these all to the list and see if they're good. 323. So Eclipse Staff, absolutely. Okay, Staves is covered. Don't need that. Jeweled Foil, Corsair's Sword. Siege Axe, Vol Scepter, Karui Chopper, Karui Scepter. Auric Mace, Imperial Claw, I get. Behemoth Mace, I get. Legion Hammer, I get. Gavel doesn't need to be here. So the last time I was using this, I was trying to find one-handed maces, so I added a bunch of them to my filter, so that's why it's skewed. So Vol Scepter doesn't need to be here. I'll have to do this again down below, but this is all like melee weapons, and that's it. So for melee weapons, if I saw it on the ground, scepters are covered, so I can remove Curry Scepter. I want Pile Driver though. I want Flesh Ripper. I think I want a Vol Axe. And luckily, right here on the wiki, all of these things, I want to see claws. I can go to the page, see all the claws. Okay, well, hmm. All of these, all of these heist base types and all of the ritual base types can have a fracturing orb used on them, therefore can be fractured items and can be dropped on the ground by another player. So technically, those need to go in here. So let me try and organize this a little bit. Claws, I need a Gemini Claw. Put the Auric Mace with the other maces. Rui Chopper comes out, goes down here with the Flesh Ripper. Vol Axe, that was my two-handed axe section. one hand Swords, I need Eternal Sword in there. For Claws, I have Imperial and Gemini. Terror would be Fizz Leech has... You'd probably just want to use a Gemini. Vol Claw has a bigger Fizz, but this has the super slow. I don't think you'd want a super slow on a Claw. And I'll leave these other base types to another time. So good for Claws. Start at the top here. Amulet's good. Uh, let's just do weapons. Bows. Miraketh Bow. Harbinger Bow. Do the Imperial Bow. For some reason, people seem to like the Spine Bow. I don't get it, though. Miraketh 92. It's better than the Miraketh. Doesn't have the LE damage with attack skills implicit. Doesn't have an implicit at all. It seems like just about in every case, though, Imperial Bow would be better than a Spine Bow. I'll put it there. I'll see if it's fractured. Everything else... I will no longer see these bows. I need a thicket bow. I don't need to see a fractured ranger and citadel bow. We're all good. That's why we're doing this. So I did claws, daggers, demon dagger, imperial skein. Those ones make sense. It's the biggest fizz hit. 40% crit chance. Platinum Chris has a slightly better crit chance with roughly the same fizz. 6.5 crit, 6.5 crit. I'm going to put platinum skein on here too. Platinum Chris. As a might dagger, I don't think you'd want. You're either going to want the slow big punchy dagger or you're going to want the fastest dagger possible and the fastest dagger possible is imperial skein so i think we're good on those one-handed axe but here siege axe is like number one fastest by far royal axe is the big heavy hitter i think that's the only one i'm adding here i'm making an axe build i'm not like a one-handed axe build i'm not using any of the others i don't think I would need a runic hatchet. Heist base, I'll do at the end. I mean, that global fizz works with like a corrupting fever, but 44 to 79, 135, like the damage isn't there on it. I think our good 
with that. One-handed mace, I'm confident on these. Behemoth mace has attack speed. Auric mace is the heavy hitter. And then Legion hammer is the fastest. And Nightmare mace is the same speed-wise, I guess. Actually, gavel hits harder. Has a bigger reduced stun threshold than the Auric mace. Interesting. Okay, I'm putting the gavel back on here. Is, this, is it really better than the Auric mace? That's wild to me. I mean, it's slightly slower, but the uh, it's a wider damage as well. So, okay, that explains it a little bit. This has a really high low-end damage, the Auric Mace does. Nightmare Mace is really equivalent. You know, I'm putting Nightmare Mace on there too. I feel like these are balanced a lot better than a lot of the bases. Okay, good with Maces. one hand Sword. I know I'm missing something here. Uh... Tiger Hook, eh. So I've got the Corsair Sword, the 155 attack speed, global accuracy rating. Eternal Sword is 1.5 attack speed with the flat accuracy. So that's a completely different one. Eternal Sword. Now, do I want a heavy hitter here? This one has a bigger range. So probably Vol Blade and Midnight Blade. Okay. Quivers. Um, Artillery Quiver is already here. Primal Arrow Quiver. Heavy Arrow Quiver. Vile Arrow Quiver. Broadhead Arrow Quiver. Oh, I'll do Ornate Quiver. Blazing Arrow. Yeah, these are all different. No, nope, I'm changing my mind. Remove this. Remove Quivers here. Add that to the class list. And then, like I do that, right? I'm going to see the Serrateds, the Fires, Shark Tooths. All the others are fine though, except the Blunt one. All the others have very unique implicits so they can all be made into something that's okay R rune daggers okay Wait, is this a list of daggers and rune daggers hmm go back go back to dagger okay rune daggers have their own list whoa 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 so there's the sigh i need to go back to dagger really don't like this base item sigh it has issues with something like a saintly chainmail. i don't want to do a special line of this where i specify the class as a dagger so like i would see this uh, saintly chainmails anyways, but I'm gonna have to see a saint's halberd chest, for example. If I put this here, I gotta do it. I wanna add ambusher. I'm not adding gutting knife. That's two flat fists for 0.1 attack speed. Ambusher, if there was gonna be one, it's gonna be that. Scepters are all included. Staves are all included. Thrusting one-handed swords. I'm pretty sure the only one I really want here is gonna be the jeweled foil. Like, the loss at attack speed is not worth the 10 crit multi, the 0.2 crit chance on the Harpy Rape here. It's really Jeweled Foil or Spiraled Foil solid. I'll put Spiraled Foil in here. They both have the 1.6 attack speed. Spiraled has a slightly wider range in damage. It's not gonna matter if you're making an elemental foil, so. It can go in. Two-handed Axe. I have Flesh Ripper. I have Vol Axe, and I have Karui Chopper. I need the Despot Axe. We need a Void Axe, or an Ezemite Axe, or a Sundering Axe. Karui Chopper definitely has the high flat slowest attack speed but you gotta have it despots the highest attack speed as a mites close vol axe maim and has solid it has a good like dps like base dps is high but curry chopper is better so it, like in ssf i see a sundering axe i'm gonna pick it up and identify it if it's fractured, I think. So I'm going to add Sundering and Ezemite. If I added those two, I should probably add the Void Axe. No. Why would I want the Void Axe? It has a better base crit. Because it is very slightly faster and has less base flat than the Vol Axe. Whereas the Sundering and the Ezemite step it up a little better. And Ezemite has better crit chance as well. Its damage drops off a little more. Okay. Yeah, I'm happy with those. Two-handed Mace. I want Coronal Maul on there. Pile Driver, I think, is the fastest. So that's in there. Imperial Maul has the strength on it. Meat Grinder has a chance to deal double damage. Losses Mallet has area damage. Brew Maul, is it the biggest hitter? Yes. There was a big spread here, like there was for the axes. Lots of nice implicits on them as well. Losses Mallet, Meat Grinder, and Imperial Maul. I don't think you're making a crit two-handed mace build. I guess there's a Void Axe. Be my guest. Two-handed Sword. Okay, I don't have any of these. Exquisite Blade. Now, Infernal Sword. So what do we got here? Reaver Sword is 1.5. Lion Sword is 1.45. 50 Strength and Dex. All Great Sword has Accuracy. There's Crit Multi 1. Crit Chance. So I think the Vol Great Sword is the heavy 
heavy hitter. The lion sword's probably the speedy one. The reaver sword is slightly faster. I'm gonna do lion sword, all great sword. And honestly, I, I think two handed swords are so out of the meta at the moment. I don't know that I want to touch the other two. The uh, Ezemite blade, the reaver sword. Like, I want a good speed one, and I want the biggest damage one, and I want the one with the 50 crit multi. Okay, wands, those are all in. War staff. I think these are different. Maelstrom staff is a pain. It's got a funky letter in it. Judgment staff has spell block. Maelstrom has attack block. Ezemite has better crit chance. Has the best damage. I'm gonna put an attack staff on here. It's gotta be the Ezemite one. Ezemite staff. Okay, that's the weapons. Amulets, rings are covered. Jewels are covered. Belts. Vanguard, crystal, stygian device. Those are covered. Mechalarm and micro distillery will get covered. I want leather heavy rustic leather belt heavy belt rustic sash good with that all right body armors this is where some real weeding out comes in astral plate absolutely i'll take a fractured astral plate glorious plate has the highest armor value potential glorious plate i don't even think i'd pick up a gladiator plate if i saw it fractured on the ground but that's what i want okay assassin's garb has the movement speed zodiac has the evasion so those two Yes, bases. Valvergalia is just the best. For an ES base, I don't like you touch anything else. Armor evasion. Full dragon scale is skewed in evasion, I think. A full dragon scale is scaled towards armor. General's brigandine is equal and triumphant is scaled towards evasion so technically they're all three supposedly on an equal playing field there most often i would pick up the full dragon scale like if it was a fractured item on the ground if it's a rare item i'm not even picking the full dragon scale up this is for fractured items so i think i put all of these. Next up is the Saintly Chainmail Saints Halberd. Saints Halberd can get higher on the armor, but the Saintly Chainmail is better on the energy shield. Put them both in. Sadist Garb has the better evasion rating. Okay, Sadist Garb is just the best between the two. Blood Raiment has better evasion, but way less on the ES. Cardinal Armor has more energy shield with the mana and lower evasion so sadist garb and carnal armor and that is body armors boots same thing don't have to go as crazy though just take the top of each titan greaves slink boots sork boots dragon scale boots crusader boots and murder boots all right and then i should be able to copy all of that paste it and then on the repeat change reeves to gauntlets slink gloves sork gloves dragon scale gauntlets okay crusader is just gloves and then murder mitts helmets isn't as easy so with helmets a royal berg can get higher armor than an eternal berg so it has a 10 higher strength requirement but like a lot of times i end up putting both these in and i think i will do that here as well but always only do the lion pelt hubris circlet nightmare bassinet okay interesting pig face bassinet is very similar to the nightmare but it's flipped on the waiting armor and evasion so if you're going for armor stacking you want the pig face bassinet okay i'm adding that to the list and i i just learned that so praetor and prophet crown do the same thing you can get better armor on the prophet crown but the energy shield's nowhere close i think praetor crown's easy that's just the one then there's the deicide mask yeah vol mask can get better evasion but it's nowhere close on the es Deicide Mask, clear favorite there. All right, and then there's Shields. Got Quivers. Now, I've always been kind of confused on this. Pinnacle Tower Shield gets life. 25% block, good armor. Colossal has better armor, worse block, worse flat life. Ezemite has 24 block. Ebony has 25. Same as Pinnacle. Girded is up to 437, but that's a lower, okay. 537 with 25 block. I feel like Pinnacle Tower Shields actually could be the best. 20 to 30 life. 30 to 40 with the 24 block is interesting. Ebony, better block, but that really falls off there. Is this life different? Like, I mean, that's pretty interesting. 30 to 40 life there on an implicit solid. I think I go all three of these. Fossil Tower Shield, Pinnacle Tower Shield. Okay, next up, Imperial is the highest evasion. No, Lacquered is higher. 
but it has even lower block. So the amount of evasion scales with block. Crusader Buckler has more movement speed than the others. I'm going to go for the two in the middle, the Crusader and Imperial Bucklers. I like their evasion values better. With respect to their block, I don't like the 24 block on the Lacquered Buckler. 27 is cool on the Vol Buckler, but it has lower speed and way lower evasion. If you're going for an evasion shield, you probably want a lot of evasion, but the block is also nice. So Crusader and Imperial. Uh, there's definitely options here. Um, actually, we just do Spirit Shield and it will grab every single one of these. All of these can roll plus one gems. So regardless of the level of it, if you're looking for a damage shield, any one of these can roll it. It just needs to be the high level. So we'll put Spirit Shield in there and it should grab them all. Hybrid Shields. Cardinal doesn't have the block recovery, but if you cannot be stunned, it doesn't matter. It's the only reason you would need the block recovery. Okay, Cardinal Round Shield is just better. Easily the best by far, it seems. Now here, Champion Kite Shield is the high block one comes with high armor and high energy shield doesn't come with the all res the all res is pretty useless honestly it's not worth giving up the armor and es i don't think for that all res so i think champion kite shield is the only one here as well and spike shields highest evasion energy shield five percent suppression lowest block here but this only ranges from 26 to 24 supreme spike shield far and away the best one there Okay, is that it? Did I get all the items? I think I might have. Flasks can be fractured. Flasks need moved back down. And I add class flasks up here. And that hits utility, life, and mana flasks. Yeah. Is there a hybrid flasks? Yeah, there is a hybrid flasks. Okay, flasks added all there. That one needs capital F. All right, so I have all these items currently saved. One big line of text. So I already grabbed the atlas bases. We've got jewels, amulets, belts, all this. All good. So then there is the heist bases. Now, renamed items, returning, removed items items wait a minute there's more removed items technically they're not removed items then from the filter because it's still relevant and standard the items will still exist they won't show up anymore this is a patch notes thing so you know what i'm just gonna take the whole existing list of these items copy it up there if they're fractured guess what i'm gonna know it and i want to go back down here where i just found all of that okay this is where the runic stuff is too oh i need to do a copy of this so I need to take the runic stuff up there as well, but I need to do this for ritual bases. So on the wiki, I can probably search for ritual, ritual base type. Here we go. All right. I don't think I need all of these. I only want the top tier ones, the level 75 ones. Okay. Inatent mask, archdemon crown, and blizzard crown. Three types of gloves, habilitation gauntlets, sinistral gloves, nexus gloves. Brimstone treads, Stormrider boots, Dream Quest slippers. Okay, and I currently only have these items showing up if they're rare. All of the rewards you get in Heist, these are rare. So those are all added in. I'm gonna add all the runic ritual stuff to my giant list of items. Okay, so there's those items. All the new things being added, just four rings and an amulet. So those would be covered there. I don't know if those are just dropping or we get them through the new league content but there's that all right so i'm pretty confident that this is my list of base items for the fractured stuff add that into above 75 and for magic items all right good synthesized items shaper items elder items hunter redeemer crusader warlord influence veiled items identified items with Explicit mods, it's all good. Show rare items below 60, the linked sockets, and then white and magic base types I'm looking for. I have all the atlas bases in here. The rings are definitely nice. The bone helmet, two-tone boots, spike gloves, grip gloves aren't as sought after anymore because of the implicit crafting we can do. But these items belong, like, they're all part of this same class with the exception of the stygian vise the grasping male sacrificial garb okay moving on to jewels okay so these are not specified by the item level and i know that class jewels grabs everything move the 
cobalt jewel down to the other magic base jewels so this is class jewels and i should put that in quotes all right so rare jewels i see them all and that could be changed later but then magic jewels i'm seeing cluster jewels and prismatic jewels if a magic prismatic jewel showed up sure then i have the abyss jewels set aside i can see them when they're magic or I can make those a little smaller though. To make them 32 like the others. I can actually change this to a class abyss jewels. So if I wanted to see those and hide the magic other jewels. Change this to hide. There's no drop sound with that. Good, good, good. Okay, that cleans up jewels quite a bit. Alright, so rings. I have all the ring base types here that are not any kind of special types. These drop as part of the base drop pool. With the exception of the breach ring here. Oh, and then there's a bone ring. It's not up here for some reason so those are all set up for all of the rare tiering and then those i should have all of those bases for magic items shown below item level 30 above item level 30 they're all hidden and then if i wanted to show the normal base types they're there below and above item level 79 i have different tiers there but those are hidden. Okay, wait, this is above or equal to item level 79 ring bases I might want to see. They're bigger if I press alt. So, and this is where I'm having color issues. Text color and the drop size is not set for these magic items. Amulets, all the same. Base types I can see does not include coral, power, amber, jade, lapis. That's well, no, I put those back. Okay, that's fine. Old amulet. It's all there. And then I need to copy this text color to here. That's fixed. And the same issue with the belts. All right, that is all fixed up. So then back to the items. All right, coming back up here to my giant list of items. I want all of my weapons. Okay, so this is going to be... Oh, and I pulled staves out of here. Okay, so leave the eclipse staff. And scepters aren't in here. Wands aren't in here i'm gonna pull the bows out so these are now all melee weapons i want to move the bows to here all right so i definitely don't need to see all of these weapons as far as staves go figure like ezemite and eclipse are okay but like i was thinking fractured items here ezemite staff don't need it vol great sword lion sword exquisite blade i'm probably not picking these things up off the ground rare items picked up a lot of imperial skeins ambusher and the sai platinum chris i'll leave the imperial skein demon dagger um i'm gonna remove the vol axe keep the flesh ripper curry chopper despot axe this is my axe sundering axe i'm just gonna leave the despot axe pile driver and imperial maul um remove auric mace leave gavel i think which is strange but sure um midnight blade and vol blade i'm not picking those up okay that, I mean, that list isn't much larger than it was. It's got a few updated bases in it. I'm happy with that. So that's melee weapons. First one. Okay. Then next. Magic and bows. I could break this apart. I probably should break this apart. All right duplicate that that's fine so all the bow stuff here can go i know demon's horde needs added here um i have imperial skein and demon dagger down here with the vol claw um i have a vol scepter i need opal scepter so sandbar vol scepter opal scepter daggers i consider more melee weapons but these are both rune daggers okay all right we'll remove these and add back in the ambusher up there so i've got Cast speed wand, the bigger spell damage wand, lightning, cold, fire wands, the attack speed wand with the less it requirement for spell damage. I think that is solid. So then there are bows and quivers. I'm happy with the bows that I grabbed. Then there's the quivers. Now, do I want to see all these bows all the time? No, I'm not picking up Americath bow, Harbinger bow, Imperial bow, or Spine bow off the ground. Thicket bow. That's the only one. Then the quivers. Wait, there, there's these list of quivers somewhere down here. Here they are. And the convoking wand. See those things everywhere. I never want them. Feathered, blazing, vile, heavy, primal. No broadhead quiver. Penetrating, spike point, feathered, blazing. I need broadhead and ornate. Just the thicket bow. Lots of quivers I could pick up. That's it. All right. So I'm on map filter two. Okay, so this is already narrowed down to the bases 
Along with both Royal and Eternal Bergs. I have the chest armor split. So in this list of stuff here, let's let's say that these chest armors come to up here. Glorious Assassins, Astral, Volvergalia. Those are the big ones. Gladiator Plate can go. Zodiac Leather stays. Exquisite goes. Widow Silk, Occultist Vestment. Triumphant, Generals, Brigandine, Full Dragon Scale. Those all stay. Saintly Chainmail, Saints Halberg. Those are actually different. Elegant Remail goes. Carnal Armor, Sadist Garb, Blood Raiment goes. Sacrificial Garb is currently gathered elsewhere. So of any of the armors, like those are the best bases. So I'll have those there. So these two lines I don't need. Then for gloves, I've got Titan and Vol, Slink, Stealth, Sork, Dragon Scale, Crusader, Murder, Mitz. So there's still two tiers of armor, two tiers of evasion here. The rest of this is set up to just be top bases, so... I'll get rid of the stealth gloves and the vol gauntlets, at least for this version of the filter. Boots, I have the same thing with vol greaves and stealth boots. Okay, shields, I have broken apart here. Fossilized titanium harmonic vol. Good. Pinnacle Colossal. Ebony, do not need. Crusader Imperial Bucklers, I like that. Archon Kite Shield, no. This should be Champion Kite Shield. Supreme Spiked Shield, don't need Mirrored. And then the Cardinal Round Shield. So that is the list there on those. I like that. And those are the shields. And then down here grabs the Atlas Bases. Invoking Wands, I just removed all of the Quivers. Heist Bases. Expedition bases, ritual bases, show other items you want to see. So if like I might set this to shields and wands, shields and wands is a good thing to just have. You're going to see them showing talismans, hiding the rest of the rare items, showing currency fragments as a fallback check. So I'll have to work backwards a little bit, like the 322 map filter. So this one will need updated with everything that I just did, except down here, it needs to retain all these extra bases to look for on boots and gloves and things. But like everything else just gets copy paste the whole thing. And then it's not till the next tier up, that'd be filter three. It keeps everything, but we start adding base defense percentile on things. So we're only seeing high rolled ones. Now this filter does not have something the other one should have. I'm gonna take this. So this filter, back to the bottom of it. This is for normal items, 68 plus high base defense, bunch of bases here. Preceptor is bad now. Otherwise it's just good bases. Archon Kite Shield should be Champion Kite Shield. Right, I think that's about it. Now I gotta add the new stuff. So I've added a section for Affliction. Now most of the stuff I don't know what to do with, just right off the bat. I will go back to the bottom, copy one of these 75 combos. Needs to go here in Affliction. Base types need to be the new rings and amulet. Composite ring. Manifold ring. I don't think we've seen any of these. Ratcheting ring and a helical ring and Focused amulets. Copy, copy this to here. And I probably need to call out for magic versions of those rings and normal versions just to make sure. Okay, then yeah, here's magic and normal. So copy the base type, remove the item level, and that's fine. And remove the item level restriction here. These need to both be on show. Okay. So those rings will show up as normal items. Painted catalyst we put in. Tinctures, charms, corpses. So this is really easy. Copy and paste what I have for a relic. I don't know what these are going to need to be, what they're going to look like. So we're going to go class, tincture, charms. So this is tincture, this is charms. This could be tinctures, or this be charm. I don't know. Item class, corpses. So they're all visible. They have a minimap icon. They have a sound effect. They'll show up. And then let's see if I were to unhide these. Sanctum, gonna look like that. Any of the new stuff. And now I have this. Remove only tabs. All right. One last thing to do. We check it. Right. I just added more new stuff. So I need to block out all the new things with hashtags. There's probably an easier way to do this than me using the arrow keys on my keyboard, but what I'm doing, okay, save that. Back to the game, reload. 1798 unknown rule type base item. 1798, that's deep in here. 1798, okay, so that is in this giant list of 
junk. Is it too long? More likely than not, though, there's like an extra, like there's something missing the quotes properly or it's too long. So what I want to do here, turn off the word wrap and let's use the arrow keys and go fishing through this and see if anything jumps out as being abnormal. It'd have to be in something that I probably typed myself. Yeah, it's definitely good to try and fix this stuff now. So when I first get into the game on League Start and try and make my loot filter work, it should only have to have issues with new stuff. All right, everything looks like it's supposed to, actually. So I'm going to assume then that it's too long. So I copy and paste it. Make it double. All right, so on the first three, where do I cut it? Cut it at the cogwork ring. So one at the cogwork ring, there's two, and then three, and then three above the cogwork ring. Okay, save, and let's try it again. Reload. Unknown rule type base item. I'm down. I'm down. Dumb. dumb. That's what it is. All right, wow. Let's revert this back to what it was. Change base item to base type i should have just read better two three big blocks of text all good save reload item filter loaded successfully ah feels good there's more i could do but i'm happy with what i accomplished i feel like i did a lot mm. already realizing something i didn't do eldritch currency is still gonna show up as just normal currency on the ground mm. and this is still an early league filter <laughs> yep, I'm seeing the chrome items and stuff. Everything's big text on the ground. So here's the extra one that got caught. I noticed that because it's smaller text size than everything else that I grabbed. And a lot of the changes I made aren't something that's going to be seen regularly. Oh, but the fractured item change is going to be huge for me. Opal Scepter's right. Yeah, the 40% LE damage. Golden Buckler showed up because I have it set to show all shields. It appears to be doing what it is supposed to do. That is good. Bit of the Chimera map. I didn't touch maps at all. I have maps split. Red, yellow, white tier. Beyond that, I don't care. They, that's how they show up as. If they're rare, they will show up with a purple border. If they're magic, they'll have a blue border. And if they're normal, they'll have a white border. But yeah, like late in the league, I don't want to be seeing this many items. Like, do I need two pile drivers really early in the league? Maybe. Later in the league? No. That's why I was doing T2 of the filter. So it's pretty generally applicable. You can tweak it to what you need. That's what I do with it anyways. I'm happy with it. I'd say it's a good job. I hope... I was able to teach you all something. I mean, I learned something in the process of this, but that is going to do it for this one on to Affliction League. I would like to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, definitely hit the like button as it really helps the channel out a lot. Subscribe to make sure you don't miss more videos from me. If you'd like to help support my channel, please consider using the super thanks to the heart icon just below the video or by joining to become a member. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.